All right, guys, toe taps. Here we go, a little cardiovascular work. We're trying to lean forward and touch the weight lightly and gently. Don't step on it. Touch the weight with your toes, alternating feet. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, in a running motion, okay? As fast as you can, but be safe. Don't step on the weight, right? Apply pressure, just tap it. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Use your arms like you're running, elbows tucked. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, nice and quick, nice and quick. Good, stay on your toes the whole time. Don't lean back, lean forward. Lean over your knees as if you're running, okay? Quick little hip flexors, lower abs, okay? And of course, cardiovascular work. Here we go, tap, tap, tap. Good, three, two, one. All right, guys, everybody's favorite, the burpee. The burpee, even though it's hated, is probably the best thing you can do if you want to burn fuel, burn energy, burn calories quickly, okay? Because it's a wide range of ways to do it, anybody can do a burpee. At the most modified version, you simply put both hands on the ground, you walk out, and then you walk in, and if you can, do a small jump. As you get better, you kick both feet out, you kick both feet in, and then you do a small jump if you can. As you move your way up the difficulty ladder, now you're doing a push-up on the bottom side of the movement and then jumping. And if you want to be really advanced, you do a drop to the floor, pop up in one motion, and then jump. So the push-up is gone, but now you're doing an explosive jump from the ground to the air. All right, guys, good old-fashioned push-ups. Here we go. Maybe the best exercise for overall chest and even shoulder development, okay? Very simply put, put your, your hands about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and then drive down, leading with your chest, right? The first thing to hit the floor should be your chest, right? Keeping your butt up, right? When you come up, make sure that the first thing that comes up is your torso and hips. The last thing off the ground should be your chest. So you're not doing a cobra type motion to come up, keeping your back safe. You can do several variations. You can go decline with your feet elevated. You can go flat, you can go wide occasionally. You can go narrow occasionally. But go down slow, chest to the ground, come up slow. And two, Let's go bicycles, guys. I love bicycles because, again, they work the obliques, right? They love handles. The, I used to be in love handles. All we're doing simply here is hands behind your head without pulling your neck, right? So you're not really pulling on your head. Your hands are just placed there. You want to twist your elbows and drive them toward the opposite knee, right? Maximize the leg movement on that leg so that you're, you're making the, the oblique work as much as possible. If you shorten that movement with the leg, with the knee bend, your oblique is not forced to work as much. So really open up the leg each time and then bend it each time, maximizing the movement of that leg. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. Here we go, six. Good job, you guys. Four, twist, three, twist, two, one. All right, guys, mountain climbers, one of the best ways to work your lower abs. Again, whenever we bring our feet toward our upper body, that works lower abdominal area, right? But mountain climbers might be one of the best ways to work cardio, one of the most underrated ways to do cardio. All you're doing here, again, is bringing your knees, alternating knees, to your chest. Right, the full range of motion is suggested and recommended. The longer the movement, the more your obliques work, the more your lower abs work. So you want to extend that leg out and bring it all the way to your chest. One way to modify it and make it more intense actually is to add sliders to the movement and keep your feet on the ground and forcing your lower abs to work throughout the whole duration of the movement.
So it's got a great way to work the legs, of course, for the squat, but also cardiovascular, all right? The bench is meant to make you go down low enough to get good quad engagement, good glute engagement, and make you bend and then jump. Ideally, you want your feet out far enough to force you to sit back, right? Keep the knees behind the toes, and then you wanna tap the bench slightly and lightly, don't bang the bench, and get a good jump off the ground, right? As opposed to the athletic squat jump off the ground, our hands go away at the bottom of the movement here. That makes finding the bench with your butt a little bit easier than it would be with your arms behind you and loaded as they are in an off the ground squat jump, all right? So tap the bench and jump, tap and jump, tap and go, three, two, one. Thank you.